Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply remainder theorem. The examples that I'm going to discuss were lifted from the Mathematics 10, Quarter 1 module, pages 23 to 24. So let's have our first example. Find the remainder when x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 is divided to x minus 3. There are two ways in determining the remainder. First is using synthetic division. And second is applying the remainder theorem. Let us first use synthetic division since this was already taught in my previous video. List all the coefficients of the dividend in a row. So 1, 4, 3, and negative 2. Then let us now determine the constant that we are going to write in a separate box. So, in our divisor, we have x minus 3. So, therefore, the constant will be equal to a positive 3. So, we write in a separate box 3. Now, let's proceed now to synthetic division. Okay. We bring down 1. Then, 1 times 3 is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. Then, 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 3 is 24. Then 24 times 3 is 72. Negative 2 plus 72 is 70. Now, since we know that the third row values that we have obtained contains the remainder. So, our remainder is actually the last digit, which is 70. Now, let's apply now remainder theorem, which states that if the polynomial P of X is divided by its divisor X minus C, then the remainder is obtained simply by solving P of C. Since the value of C is 3, it only means in simple words that we are going to solve for P of 3. So, what do we mean by P of 3? All the x variables in our dividend have to be substituted with 3. So, with that, we are going to arrive with, by substitution, we have 3 raised to the third power for x cubed. Then, plus 4 times 3 raised to the second power for 4x squared. Then, plus 3x, which is the same as plus 3 times 3, then minus 2. We can actually instantly obtain the answer to P of 3 by encoding all these values in our scientific calculator. So, therefore, let us show you the value obtained for 3 raised to the 3 plus 4 times 3 raised to the second power plus 3 times 3 minus 2. Okay, so we have 27 plus 36 plus 9 minus 2. Now, combining all these integers, we are going to arrive with the value 70. Therefore, P of 3 has a value of 70 or simply the value of the remainder. At this point, you might be thinking that synthetic division is easier to use in obtaining the remainder than using the remainder theorem because the numbers are getting bigger and bigger. But in my second example, you are going to realize that it is actually a case-to-case -case basis. Now, let's move on now to our second example. Find the remainder when x cubed minus 1 is divided to x plus 1. In this example, we are going to apply remainder theorem first. Let us first determine the value of c. Since the divisor is x plus 1, therefore our c will be equal to negative 1. So we are now going to solve for p of negative 1. Then this only means that negative 1 will be substituted to x cubed minus 1. With that, it will become negative 1 raised to the third power minus 1. Negative 1 minus 1, which is equal to negative 2. So, our remainder is negative 2. 
Now, let us check if this is correct by using synthetic division. Since x cubed minus 1, our dividend, is an incomplete polynomial, it doesn't have x squared and x, step 1 is to complete the polynomial terms. So, this will become x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 1. Then we list now all our coefficients in a row. 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Since we know already that our C is negative 1, we are going to write that in a separate box. Now, let us now apply synthetic division. Okay, we bring down 1, then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1, and negative 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So our remainder, which is the last digit in the third row, is negative 2. So by checking using synthetic division, the value that we derive using remainder theorem is correct. And I hope that at this point, you are able to see the advantage of each of these methods, whether remainder theorem or synthetic division. So I hope I was able to explain applying remainder theorem. And please do watch my next video.